Let's talk about the difference between the venous ulcer and the arterial ulcer. First, age. Usually, venous ulcer is occurring in the ages of like 40s to 50s, but arterial ulcer are more common in older person, 60 plus. Sex, usually venous ulcer in female, whereas arterial ulcer more likely to be in a male. Risk factors, the, the risk factors of DVT, such as thrombophilia, are the common risk factors for venous ulcer. In case of arterial ulcer, the common risk factors are risk factors for PVD or peripheral vascular disease such as diabetes, such as smoking, hypertension, hypertension, and dyslipidemia. Symptoms. The venous ulcer usually have previous history of swelling. There may be some pain, but in case of arterial ulcer, the pain is severe. Initially, the pain has the character called intermittent claudication, whereas the patient has pain after working a few meters or some meters. And then the patient has rest pain after the intermittent claudication. And then the patient usually develops the ulcer. The site of ulcer, usually in the distribution of the leg veins, such as in the medial malleolus over the medial malleolus, in case of arterial ulcer, the pressure areas are the common site, such as the malleoli, uh, such as the heel, and can be also present in the metatarsus, so the fifth metatarsal base, or the head of the metatarsals are the common areas where the arterial ulcer can occur. Let's change the color, yeah. Then the ulcer base, usually, the venous ulcer base has granulation tissue because uh, it has good arterial supply. So granulation tissue is there and usually it can heal if you uh, re relieve the conditions. The, where is the arterial ulcer? Usually the arterial ulcer, uh, the base does not have that much of a granulation tissue. Rather, the base is necrotic most of the times. The surrounding skin in the uh, patients with Venous ulcer usually will have something called lipodermatosclerosis, which is a chronic skin change. There is thickening and uh, thickening and the change of the color of the skin. In case of arterial ulcer, uh, there will not be such changes. Swelling usually the limb is swollen, but in case of arterial ulcer, the limb is not swollen; rather, the limb may be atrophic. Temperature usually in venous ulcer temperature is high, in the arterial ulcer temperature is low. The pulses are present in venous ulcer, but usually absent in patients with arterial ulcer. The veins, obviously veins are dilated and full in patients with venous ulcer, and the veins may gutter or may be empty in patients with arterial ulcer.